In this video, we're going to use our Arduino to play music. One thing we'll need is a speaker. So we picked up a few of these cheap speakers on the internet. We're not using an amplifier, so something simple like this will do. Okay, we're going to put our music on an SD card, and we'll need an SD card adapter so Arduino can read it. Here's the one we're going to use. They're really cheap and straightforward to wire up. You can see that the pins are clearly labeled. We'll go over the wiring in just a minute. And you also need an SD card. We chose 32 gigabytes. It has plenty of room to put on music and other files if we'd like. All right, are you ready? Let's get started. Let's talk about the SD library that comes with Arduino. The first thing to note is that it requires a specific file system, in this case the FAT16 or FAT32 file system. Let's go ahead and format our SD card now. We used a Mac to format the SD card. We labeled it Linux, and as you can see the file format is MS-DOS FAT32, and the capacity is almost 32 gigs. Okay, on to the next step. Now that we got our SD card formatted, let's talk about the WAV file. We're going to need to convert it into a specific format. There's a free online converter, and I'll put a link in the description, that you can use to convert your WAV file to the format required. Here are the parameters that you'll need. The bit resolution will need to be 8-bit, 16,000 hertz sampling rate, and then the auto channel, audio channel will be mono. Go ahead and use this converter or another one. Convert your file. Let me show you what it looks like when we look at the file on our Mac. You can see from this info box that the format shows these particular settings that we used. And also the link to this website is part of the file. Okay, let's go back to the SD library. When you wire up your SD card, there are specific ports that you must use. As it mentions here, the SD card use, uses SPI, another library that we're going to link, link with in um, Arduino IDE when we write our code. SPI uses these digital pins, 11, 12, and 13 on most Arduino boards. That's what we're using our, on our Arduino Uno. And just as important is the hardware select pin. So if we take a look at the SD card pins here, you can see that there's power ground, these pins for SPI, and then a hardware select pin. This is going to be pin 10 on most Arduino boards, and on our board it is pin 10 as well. So let's take a closer look at these SPI pins. We're going to use the SPI library on Arduino, and on this page it talks about these particular master in, master out, and serial clock pins along with the slave select pin. Down here there's a chart telling you where these pins must be connected. For example, this MOSI will be pin 11, MISO 12, and the select in 13. And of course, this upper select, this is going to be pin 10. And these are the settings we used. So if you have a different Arduino, you'll need to look up where they need to go in this chart here. All right, now to the next step. We're going to use a third-party library to play our audio files. It's on GitHub. I'll put a link in the description. It's called TMRPCM. The homepage here contains a lot of information about its capabilities. We're just going to scratch the surface of what it can do with our program today. On this page are installation instructions and the code itself. So let's go jump over to Arduino IDE and get coding. Alright, let's write some code. The first thing we'll need to do is import the third-party library. One way you could do that is if you downloaded that zip file, go to sketch, include library, 
add zip library and then you would point to that zip file that you downloaded from github I'll go ahead and show you that we have this library installed one way to check that is to go to tools manage library and type in the name which would be DMR DMR there we go this is the library the third-party library that was installed okay once you got that done we'll go ahead and start writing some code first thing we'll do is we'll include some files here PSD header third-party library we of course need SPI and just to add a little spice to this program we're going to use an LCD and we have a complete tutorial or several tutorials that we use this where we use an LCD LCD excuse me so we'll go ahead and this library. If you need more information about using this liquid crystal library, we'll put a link in the description. We're going to use this LCD to print out the name of the WAV file that's playing. So to use this third-party library, we need to define where the um, select pin is for the SD card. And there's a variable called SD underscore select pin of course we're using pin number 10 and to use the LCD you must initialize it in the con with the constructor I'll go ahead and paste this here and to use this third-party library we'll go ahead and declare a variable I'll call it audio and in the setup, we need to tell it where the speaker is. So audio.speaker pin equals number nine. I'm going to go ahead and set up the LCD here. This is just to initialize it. 16 by 2. Here. And what we're going to do is in the setup, the, we will setup method will verify that the SD card can be accessed. So we'll say if. the SD card then we'll print out the message on the LCD This can happen if the SD card wasn't formatted right or if the wiring is incorrect. All right. Let's go ahead and set the volume this will differ based on whether or not you have an amplifier and how good your speaker is three seems to be fine for us and we know the name of our wave file so we're going to just go ahead and play it from the beginning or play it 
when the program starts. Ours is named r3.wave. And there's an option here to start a number of seconds from the beginning of the file. So we're going to start the file 90 seconds in. If you want to start from the beginning, you would just set that to zero. And then we're going to print the song. Play the song to the LCD. And there's two rows to our LCD, so we're going to print the name of the song on the first row. go down to our loop. The loop is going to be pretty straightforward. It's going to use a method in the third-party library to determine whether the song is playing or not. So on the first line, we're going to print the name of the song, and on the second line, we're going to print whether it's playing or not. So let's go ahead and do that now. So we need to change the LCD to print on the second line. so many um, so much space on their LCD so we'll just kind of abbreviate that else audio is not playing so. and we'll just delay three seconds Go ahead and compile this. Make sure everything's all right. All right, let's go ahead and upload it. All right, it uploaded. Let's go ahead and take a listen. Well, it works. That was a fun project. Although the music is a little hard to hear. This could definitely use an amplifier, and we'll save that for the next project. That's all we have for this one. If you have any comments, please leave them below. And if you haven't already, check us out at our website, h3technology.dev. Thanks for watching.